Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish Nations. And it's the freaking weekend, so it's time to check in on our budget together. Um, today is Christmas, and I, um, though I'm an atheist, I celebrate secularly. This year was a little different for me because I couldn't travel home, so I had a really interesting day. I actually opened presents with my family like over the phone, which was pretty cute and fun. So it was a weird, different, but pretty nice day. Um, if you were celebrating Christmas, I hope you had a great day. And if you're celebrating one of the many holidays that falls during this time period, uh, during this season, then I hope you had a great one too. Oh, before I get started, I just want to say that if you are new here, which I've noticed there have been a good amount of new subscribers, um, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, I talk about being an artist and getting financially stable. And if you're interested in that, um, then I would love it if you would subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like the video, if you like it. And for those of you that are returning, thank you so much. I love chatting with you in the comments and um, being part of this like cute, personal finance community together. So anyway, let's get into these transactions. Um, first one is grocery outlet. I'm going to scroll up to groceries. I'm already a little over there, um, but I guess them's the breaks. Um, actually, most of this was for a, I made a chili garlic oil for two friends. So most of this was buying oil for that, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw it into groceries because um, I picked up other things that were grocery. Um, while I'm there, I'm going to um, put this Walmart transaction in. I'm actually going to split it because I got groceries, um, like veggies for the week, but I also got a pair of slippers, which I did earlier in the month. So later it, I will get to the refund that I got for those. So real quick, I'm going to put in um, fun, which for some reason never comes up. Let's see. There we are, fun. Um, and then I'm also going to put groceries in. So the slippers I ended up getting were about $20. I'm just rounding. And so then the rest is $26, $28. And that was for groceries. So I'm going to go and put that in. Um, I also stopped at Safeway one day and I basically bought dinner. It was like essentially takeout, but it wasn't. So it was from the grocery store. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that in restaurants. And I, while I was there, actually the reason I went there was to pick up Junior's medicine, his Prozac. That was $37.96. That's for several months. So that's going to go in kitties. Uh, also that, that day I picked up medicine at the vet and that was $17.27. And if you're new here, my cats are on a lot of medicines. So this is uh, a lot of my transactions tend to be kitty stuff. So that was $17.27. And uh, let's see, I'm going to scroll up now. Oh, realize I put paycheck two in twice. So I just went ahead and took care of one of those. I'm going to put paycheck two in to my next month category. So for anyone who doesn't know, I recently transitioned my budget to being one month ahead. So every paycheck I get this month, which I get tw paid twice a month, goes into the next month category. And then that's what I use to pay bills for next month. Um, while we're here, I paid up my electric bill, which I'm going to scroll down just a bit. That was $27.11, a little less than I had planned. 40 is my kind of generic number, and $27.11 was lower, so that's cool. Um, I also, yeah, got this reimbursement from Walmart, $10.92 for a pair of slippers I bought. Um, and in my sharing category, I donated $100, or I shared $100, um, with this really amazing project that's happening pretty local to me. Um, basically, uh, this super cool woman is starting a farm from scratch, and I love to see it. I love to support it. They're going to be doing a CSA in the spring, so I'm definitely going to be jumping on board with that. 
Um, so that was $100. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the last of my stimulus sharing. So I had allotted $500 from the first only stimulus check. And <clears throat> I have just been kind of doling that out as I see things that I want to support. And so I'm going to use the last $82 for that. And, oh wait, whoops, 82. And remaining is 18. So 18 is going to come from sharing. So that's taken care of. So $100. Um, I'll be interested to see what happens with the stimulus check that people are talking about now. As I understand it, there are still just a lot of weird ways it can go sideways. Um, but, uh, I mean, $600 is a ridiculous amount of money for people who have been dealing with job loss or loss of their homes. Um, so I think it's it's wild. Um, I definitely will be... Um, sharing some portion of that when and if that happens. Uh, the last transaction that I have is post office. I bought stamps and I sent two packages. Um, one was technically for my business, um, but that was only $5. And then the other one was just a package to a friend full of gifts. And then I bought two um, books of stamps, really cool ones. One has fruits and veggies on it and one has dinosaurs on it and it's kind of like holographic or like not exactly holographic, but like shiny. So that was $47.95 and I think I'm going to just drop this in the fun category, which is over and this is a lot of chaotic energy, but like I don't know what else to do. So $47.95. <laughs> All right. If you're new here, things are not usually so chaotic, but I definitely am an imperfect budgeter, so I do go over. Um, but anyway, those are all the transactions for the month. We've got one more week left in this month, the way that I've allotted out the month. So I will see you same time, same place. Um, it's the last week of Vlogmas, and I'm planning on a pretty full week of videos, um, just kind of wrapping up the year and getting ready for next year. So I will see you there.